Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and today I'm joined by Matt, who is a product manager on Google Analytics. We're gonna walk you through the setup assistant in Google Analytics 4 and show you how you can use it to help you migrate from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. Matt will walk things like migrating your conversions, your audiences, and all the really cool things that you can do with this assistant. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Matt and he's gonna dive right in and show you. Thanks so much, Krista. Uh, and hello, everyone. I'm really excited to be here to show you the latest and the greatest with the Setup Assistant. So this is, as Krista mentioned, a great set of tools that are going to help you migrate from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. To get in, simply load up your Google Analytics Universal Analytics property. So here, you can see that I've got a demo one already loaded up. To get into the Setup Assistant, go right on into the Admin section uh, from the home screen here. And then you'll notice at the very top of the property column is a GA4 setup assistant. Click right on in. And here you can see a couple of options that we have for using the setup assistant. The first one here is a wizard that we've created that does a lot of work for you. It'll create a brand new GA4 property and copy many settings over from Universal Analytics. To use that, you simply click the Get Started button. And then up comes a pop-up, which shows you a bit more information about exactly what data we're copying over from Universal Analytics. If this looks good to you, you go ahead and click the Create and Continue button. And next, what we're going to do is load up a screen to help reuse your site tags. If you're using gtag.js or Google Tag Manager, we have really good news. You don't have to re-tag your site at all because we can reuse those tags for GA4. Um, or if you prefer a more manual approach, you can click here to simply install a brand new Google tag. Click the Next button. And here, if you're using a content management system, or if you want to install a tag manually, we'll give you the appropriate instructions. Once you're all set, go ahead and click Done. And now we go right back into the Setup Assistant, and it refreshes the page. Congratulations, you now have a GA4 property. So here you can see some very basic information on it, um, as well as a link right in the center here that leads into the new property. Let's go ahead and click it to load it up. What now happens is a brand new tab loads up this brand new property, and you can see the Setup Assistant experience inside of GA4. On the main page, there's a series of steps that we want most customers to go through to be able to help them understand how to set up Google Analytics 4. As you scroll down the page, you can see that these steps are organized by a series of groups data collection, property settings, and if you're an advertiser, some advertising settings. And at the very end, we also have some advanced setup options if you're an advanced user of Google Analytics. You'll notice as you look at each of these items, they're organized with a quick introduction to what the item is, as well as a learn more link to help you get educated if you're not familiar with any of these items. And then off to the right, you'll see statuses, uh, if we've been able to detect if you've set up this particular item, as well as an arrow, which gives you some actions that you can take to go ahead and set up any given item. Let's take a look at conversions, for example, under property settings. When you hover over it, it looks like it's telling you you haven't started yet, but note, you can see in Universal Analytics, you had five goals that you were measuring. So here you can see, ah, I've got some more work to do to go ahead and configure my conversions over in Google Analytics 4. So that's where you're gonna use this arrow button here. And when you click in, a few options open up to help you get set up in GA4. The first one is a wizard that we've built to help you migrate your data from Universal Analytics over to GA4. If you prefer a more manual approach, that's okay too, and we have a link here that will take you to the page where you can set it up directly in GA4. For this demo, let's look at the wizard we've created, which makes it very easy to migrate data into, into GA4. With a single click, you'll see a new table loads up here, and it shows you all of the goals that we were able to find in the connected Universal Analytics property. Um, you can see by default, we've selected all of them for migration over to GA4. If there's one that you don't want or need, you can simply unclick the box and we won't migrate it for you. In the center column here, you can see we're converting from a Universal Analytics goal name, brochure download, for example, over to more GA4 appropriate syntax, brochure underscore download. Uh, you're welcome to make edits here if needed. And once this looks good to you, simply click the button up at the top. There's a reminder here that depending on your tagging configuration, you may have more work to do. If you're using, again, Google Tag Manager or uh, the gtag.js snippet, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and click to continue. And we are sent right back into the Setup Assistant. And as the page reloads, um, you're able to see the status is updated now. 
we can now see five conversions have been configured in GA4, uh, just like you had five goals set up in Universal Analytics. Great. If you now feel like you're complete with all your conversion migration, click the arrow once more and mark the item as complete. What this does, you can see, is the styling now indicates this item is complete and the progress bar up top starts to record some of the progress you're making. It's a very handy feature if you're, using, if you're collaborating on this property with many other administrators. You can all see the progress that you're making. Next, let's scroll down the page a little bit further and let's look at Google Ads links. Once again, you can see this has not been started and by hovering over, you can see, ah, my Universal Analytics property was linked to four Google Ads accounts. All right, I have some work to do here. Let's click on in. Once again, I can configure this through a wizard or manually. Let's take a look at the wizard. And here you can see four Google Ads accounts that I was linked to from Universal Analytics. Uh, again, they're all selected by default to be imported into GA4. If you don't want one, simply uncheck the box and away you go. We also make it easy to adjust personalized advertising settings if you need to. Once this is all looking good to you, click the button up top to import. There's also a reminder here that you may have more configuration to go in Google Ads after you've copied data to GA4 to fully activate Google Analytics conversions and audiences inside of Google Ads. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and click to import these links over to GA4. We're returned once again to the Setup Assistant. And as the page refreshes, uh, now you'll note that we have three ads links that are showing up here as configured. That's wonderful. Uh, so the, the wizard helped you to complete that setup. And once again, let's mark this step as complete if you feel like you are done here. Now let's look at one more item here. Let's look at migrating users. So of course you can add users to your, your Google Analytics properties. Um, in this case, you had um, a handful added to Universal Analytics and you can see a handful already are in GA4. Um, you may have more work to go. And if you do, let's go ahead and click here. And once again, you can manage users manually or through a wizard. Let me show you what it looks like through the wizard. In this case, this tool is a Google Sheets add-on. So by clicking into the wizard, we're sending you to a help article which walks you through how to do this. Um, there are basically three steps involved in using this tool. Well, first, before you can go into the three steps, you have to install a Google add-on. And, um, and you can see right here, we give you a link to it as well as show you screenshots as what it'll look like when you're doing that. Once you've configured the add-on, you can use this tool to number one, import your users from Universal Analytics, two, sometimes you have to make some decisions on what permissions to give them, and then three, export those users to Google Analytics 4. This help article will walk you through all those steps and show you some screenshots of what it looks like. Once you create a new sheet and you've added that add-on, under the extensions, you'll see a GA4 migrator add-on. And when you float over it, you get an option to migrate users to GA4. Inside of your Google Sheet, you'll get a panel that looks like this that helps you, number one, for step one, select an account and a property from Universal Analytics that you wanna pull users in from. And then two, you're gonna see the users load up as well as the permissions that we found from Universal Analytics. Sometimes you have to make a decision if the users had multiple permission types across many views. Once you click the appropriate permission for the user, you'll note that you'll go from this yellow decision required into a green ready to migrate state. And finally, step three, select a GA4 property you wanna save this data into, click the migrate button, and you're done. All right, so back into the setup assistant, you would now see these users load up uh, under manage users and the count should uh, update to the appropriate number for you. And once a step is complete, mark it as complete. The final thing I'm gonna show is at the very bottom here, we have a section for advanced setup if your, use, if your usage of Google Analytics involves any of these steps. Data import, linking to BigQuery, user ID, et cetera. These are some configurations that are popular with many of our customers. Um, and once again, you can see some statuses off to the right um, and also options to help go ahead and get some items configured. And again, when you've completed each item, mark it as complete. That completes the demo of the setup assistant. I hope this tool helps you out in your migrations to Google Analytics 4. As you can see, this tool makes it so much easier to migrate things like your ads links, your users, your conversions, and all of the other things included here. I think it's a great way to help you get started with Google Analytics 4 even faster, and I hope you give it a try today.